bouncy underwater. Kidnapped and kept in Sardinia. Delicate but deadly with Lily. But no sexual encounter of the floral kind is more strange than that found in the steamy, still rainforests of South America. Trees crowding out the sky, no gentle breeze to bear the magic dust of life. More orchids than any botanist can name, and yet for many species, there can only be one pollinator, only one bee, to unlock the secret combination of its sex life. The orchid with the most complex flower, the most bizarre and outrageous strategy is Corianthes, the bucket orchid. It clings to branches with its roots embedded in a nest of ants which guard it and supply it with nutrients. But the ants do not pollinate it. This is done exclusively by a species of beautiful, iridescent orchid bee, the plant's one and only pollinator. In the early morning, the orchid opens. Almost immediately, it begins to drip a clear fluid from two glands into the bucket part of the flower. At the same time, the orchid gives off a scent highly attractive to its pollinators, its little male bees. But the bees come because their chance of reproducing depends on what the orchid is offering. It is a waxy substance they scrape off with specially modified front legs to make a perfume, a sort of aphrodisiac essential to attract and stimulate female bees. No wonder males fly in from up to five miles away. In the ensuing dogfight, the inevitable accident occurs. Though it's no accident as far as the orchid is concerned. The purpose of the fluid now becomes clear. Unlike the water lily, the orchid's intention is not to kill its victim. Oddly enough, it must now start to help him to escape. The bee is on the point of drowning when it discovers a small escape tunnel with a rather conveniently placed step. Just when it seems nothing can prevent escape, the top and bottom of the tunnel close in, holding the bee in a vice-like grip. struggle and strain as he might. He is held firm while the orchid glues two little yellow pollen sacs on his back. It takes about 10 minutes for the glue to set and only then does the orchid release him. The bee is now fully fledged to go between but he must wait to dry to complete his escape. But the orchid's sexual plan is far from complete. 
Bees which bear no pollen merely pass through the system. It must wait for one carrying pollen sacs from another orchid before it can be fertilized. But what a difference when this bee tries to make its escape. The flower has a device which grabs the pollen sac from his back. There, the amazingly complex plan has worked. Despite its apparently foolproof design, Corianthes is taking an awful risk. Were its bees to disappear, even become scarce in numbers, this beautiful orchid would vanish forever. Whatever the plant, whatever the means, the seeds must set. And it is of great concern to us all those seeds contain our future, too. Floral sex is no less important than human or animal sex. Without it, there would be no life on Earth as we know it. Nothing.